Have you been thinking about reading Mindset by Dr. Carol S. Dweck? Want to know a little bit more before you buy a copy for yourself? Well, check out my review. Hey, it's Sherelle and welcome to my channel for Pelha. If this is your first time here, then you are gonna find lots of videos to help you achieve more success in your life. And if that sounds like your thing, then hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Mindset by Dr. Carol S. Dweck, which was Propel Her's book of the month. Mindset is a topic that gets spoken a lot in the personal development world. However, the thing I was really drawn to about this book was the subline, that changing the way you think can help you to fulfill your potential. I am all about helping people to fulfill their potential, so I wanted to understand Dr. Carol's work a little bit more. Right at the beginning, the book talks about two different types of mindsets and that is the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. Now, a fixed mindset revolves around the fact that people think that they have a certain level of ability, whether that be like sports or arts or academic, and that they are judged by that level and they are to sit there forever. This also means that their whole world revolves around trying to prove how successful they are to others. In contrast, the growth mindset is all about stretching yourself. People with a growth mindset believe that wherever you start in life isn't where you have to end up as long as you're willing to work at it and they are much more likely to put themselves forward and try new things. Now from the beginning I just want to be really clear that no one is entirely growth mindset or entirely fixed mindset. The point is that most people fit somewhere along the scale, but also depending on the context and the situation, you might be more likely to have a growth mindset in one area and more likely to have a fixed mindset in the other. So don't start having a panic attack if you're already thinking, I've got a fixed mindset in some area, or I've got a growth mindset in the other. So in the opening section of the book, Cavill really tries to talk to us about what a fixed mindset is, what a growth mindset is, and what the implications are to you. Now, one of the biggest things I noticed really quickly was just the idea of how failure is like assumed in your mind depending on your growth mindset or your fixed mindset. Failure is seen differently by those that have a growth mindset and those that have a fixed mindset. So if you have a fixed mindset, then it's likely that if you fail, you see yourself as a failure and you feel judged. Whereas if you have a growth mindset, then you just see failure as something that happens and you just see that you failed in that instance. As I'm sure you can imagine, the difference between identifying yourself as a failure and just seeing yourself as failing in that moment will have massive consequences. And that is one of the things that Carol is trying to highlight to us is that idea that we need to separate failure from our identity. Like you are not a success and you are not a failure. We are just all working and moving and developing and learning. As you move further into the book, Carol applies the fixed mindset and the growth mindset to different areas of life. So one of them is looking specific at ability and accomplishments. In this section, she talks about people who are prodigies from a young age and how being labeled as that from a young age may actually stifle their ability moving forward. Because if as a child, you believe that you are great at something and that everyone is loving you because you're great, you're not gonna to wanna to push yourself and like fail. So you're gonna try and sit within your realm of where you're comfortable, which obviously when you're quite young, you're gonna miss out on all the opportunities as you grow up. She also talks about the idea that how people learn to pass tests rather than learn to acquire knowledge and how that again, as you move older and you move into adult life, how that has implications for you. Another area where the mindsets are applied is that of champions and specifically sports champions. In this section, she talks about people like McEnroe, who was known for just thinking he was the best, and if anything failed, he blamed other people. He had a fixed mindset, and his whole identity was surrounded by being a winner. And when he didn't win, he didn't know how to cope with it. He saw himself as a failure and therefore blamed everyone else. That is then compared with the wonderful Michael Jordan, and how actually, even when he rose to the top, he carried on pushing himself and carried on training because his whole idea was like, you are literally as good as you are today. Another area where the mindsets really come to play is business. And Carol talks about two different cultures, which will normally come from the boss or the leadership or the, like, the senior management team. So you can have a culture of geniuses and this will normally mean that everyone within that company is going to want to be an expert and they're gonna have a fixed mindset. When people hire for a culture of geniuses, 
they're more likely to have people from like elite universities, people with certain qualifications. And what they believe is that they're gonna be getting in all the people with the best talent, and therefore that makes them the best company. But what that means for an individual working within that organization is that you are not gonna to wanna to take risks. And worse than that, if you make a mistake, you're gonna try and hide it because you're not gonna want anyone else to know because everything about how your company operates is about you being the best and you being excellent. In contrast to this, there is the culture of development. And this is normally where a company has a culture of a growth mindset. This is a company where they know that the person that walks in their door is not gonna be the same as the person that leaves. That actually the world is changing and what they need to do is hire people who are motivated, who are driven, who are willing to ask questions, who are willing to admit failure. Women that, people that are basically willing to try, learn, try and learn. Not only does Carol look at how having a fixed and growth mindset really affects someone on a more like professional level, she also looks at it on a personal level and examines how it works in relationships. People with a fixed mindset are more likely to be looking for that instantaneous type of love that hits you straight away. But the problem comes when that starts to break down. They will start to judge their other half because they have a fixed mindset about people's capabilities and people not changing. But also, if that relationship breaks down, then they are more likely to feel judged, to feel like they are a failure. In contrast, those with a growth mindset are much more likely to see a relationship as a two-way process, a conversation, a discussion, and also something that changes over time and does require work. One of the final chapters looks at the roles of parents, teachers, and coaches, and it really talks about the idea of praise and how are we encouraging people to get the best out of them. Now, one of the things she really criticizes is people who praise people for achieving things. If you put too much focus on praising people for being great, then it's easy for those people to start to develop a fixed mindset. And instead, praise should really focus on the effort people have been putting into it, the work people have been putting into it. And if you are gonna praise the final outcome, well, that is fine, but really trying to think about how you can be reassuring someone that everything they've done to build up to that point is just as valuable as the final outcome. Now, to conclude the book, Carol goes into detail about how you can change your mindset. So, as I mentioned right at the beginning of this review, there is no such thing as someone with a fixed mindset and someone with a growth mindset. However, through the book, while talking about different topics, the hope is you might have started to realize in what areas or what triggers are gonna make you have this fixed mindset. Now, once you understand those areas, she then has a four-step process to try and help you turn this and slowly develop a growth mindset. So that is my summary of Mindset by Dr. Carol S. Dweck. I hope you enjoyed this summary video. And more importantly than that, I really hope it's inspired you to pick up a copy and read it for yourself. Mindset was read as part of Propel Her's Book Club, which is a female-focused professional development book club that reads a new book every single month. And if you would like to join in, you can do so. Just I'll put a link in the description box. Go to propelher.co.uk forward slash book club. If you have enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I will be releasing many more videos to help you achieve more success in your life. And every month there will be a video that is devoted to a wonderful, fabulous book. So even if you don't join Propel Heads Book Club, please subscribe and watch out for those future videos. Bye for now.